Hi, I'm Jose, and this is my husband, Alfred, and we are currently aboard the Celebrity Reflection. Um, uh, Celebrity invited <clears throat> us on this uh, really awesome cruise to experience what they had to offer and then to kind of present it back to you, the world. So, full disclosure, I was um, invited here by Celebrity, but um, anything that I say, that's my own opinion, and the company knows that um, I, won't, I won't say anything that's not true. The cruise is pretty awesome. It's uh, really luxurious, I would say. Um, probably more luxurious than most of the travel that I typically will do. Um, yeah, it, and it's very different than the travel that I would do because a lot of the stuff is planned. Your ports of calls are planned. You know, there's not a lot of time in every place, but you do get to explore quite a bit. Um, so how, how have you felt about the? How have you felt about the cruise? Oh, it's been amazing. So, um, yeah, I, unlike you, I, sometimes I like the regimented style where I don't have to think about what I'm doing. And I know your travels are very different where it's yeah. kind of fly by the seat of your pants and explore. Exactly. <laughs> so this cruise is definitely set up in a way that you can enjoy yourself fully, like 100%. Um, there's not going to be any off-the-cuff things to do. You, there, every day you have a list of events that are planned out and you can choose from this huge list everything you want to do and at the ports of call most people do planned excursions and etc. And the good thing about doing a planned excursion is that if you're on an excursion that you've booked through Celebrity you're guaranteed to get back to your ship on time. So the risk of not doing that is that you take an excursion off by yourself and then you don't get back on time, you get to port, your ship's gone and then you have to get to your next port of call um, which means you have to pay for a flight. Um, we stopped um, in Antigua, Barbados, uh, St. Lucia, St. Kitts, and St. Thomas, uh, U.S. Virgin Islands. My favorite port of call was Barbados. Um, something about the country completely just won me over. And Barbados isn't a very gay-friendly place. Um, like I always say in my blog, there's a lot of places that aren't gay-friendly, but that shouldn't stop you from traveling there. It's just a matter of using your best uh, judgment. Um, in Barbados, we did an excursion where we went to a monkey reservation. Um, no, excuse me. It's just a, re it's a reserve for turtles. However, Barbados has a huge population of wild green monkeys. And these monkeys hop the fence at the reserve because they know they can get a free meal there. And it was pretty awesome. I, at one point, I had um, a monkey eating out of my hand and holding my hand, um, which was really creepy um, in a way because they, they kind of creeped me out. Um, but his hands were really soft. Uh, and that was really awesome. Um, how, how did you feel about the, the the monkey reserve? Oh, it was actually amazing. So uh, when, I, when you see the go in there and you see the tortoises and you see the, the monkeys and all the different creatures, so there's peacocks, there were deer, um, and some other birds and some snakes uh, in cages. And I, I think just the excursion itself, getting there, getting to see some of the local wildlife um, in a nice, safe environment, but also, as Jose said, the monkeys will just be completely around you and it's kind of fun being surrounded by them. Um, but even better about this excursion is the part that we didn't expect. We knew we were going to a monkey reserve, but our tour um, driver decided to take us through um, basically the... Uh, Barbados is not a big country. It's something like 21 miles by 14 miles wide. So it's a very small country. You can drive across it fairly quickly. So he actually drove us to the east coast of Barbados, which is very wild. It faces it it's, faces the Atlantic Ocean. You can't swim there. Surfers, they enjoy surfing there. And there's some beautiful rock formations in the water. Um, and it was just absolutely incredible. It, what was um, your favorite uh, port? Um, probably St. Kitts. That's where we did the speedboat. Yeah. Yeah, so speedboat racing on St. Kitts where he was driving. Yeah, and nice. um, uh, the snorkeling that we did around there. So I, I'm a huge fan of snorkeling and just getting to jump off and seeing a, just the huge variety of wild, uh, wild well, the fish at the reef. Well, that's wildlife. Yeah. Um, but seeing the, the huge variety of fish around there because we've been snorkeling in places before 
Uh, but this was, I was actually really impressed with just the, the variety I just saw there. Then of course we were told like, don't touch the rocks, don't touch the squirrel, don't touch this and that and the other, because if you do, they said that we would probably burn, our skin would be burning, we would be stung, and um, the only way to stop that was for them to pee on us. Um, remember the, yes. the, the leader of our trip, he said, he asked us if we if we enjoyed a golden shower. And full disclosure, we do not enjoy golden showers. But um, he said that if we were to get stung by anything, that that would be the only way out there where we were to stop the stinging, which is pretty inaccurate because that won't stop the stinging, but that's what he said. <laughs> um, uh, and there was also a shipwreck. So we, we swam over to the shipwreck. It felt like it was taking for us forever to get there. It was cool. It was a ship that was wrecked, um, mostly a rusty old bucket of metal. Um, you know, the waves, we were trying to make sure that the waves didn't blow us up against the ship and everything because it's a, you know, tetanus. Some of the other stops were pretty awesome as well. You know, um, St. Lucia, we saw the Pitons, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Mm -hmm. And it's my goal to see as many UNESCO World Heritage Sites as I can in my life and because um, they're incredible places. Uh, so it was very amazing, the two mountains just popping up at the end of the island. And then we went to a volcano next to it um, and hung out in these sulfur baths, which really smell terrible, like rotten eggs. Did you enjoy the smell? Or? Not the smell, but the mud and everything you rub, rub on yourself, it makes your skin feel great afterwards. Yeah, he, he enjoyed it, and I, and, I, and I enjoyed it for what it was worth, but it, it wasn't my favorite. I didn't like the smell, and also, um, it's the only place on the island that you can do this, in, um, it's, uh, that's in St. Lucia. Um, it's the only place on the island that you can do this, um, and I would say it's not even, it's not really worth it. Um, it's jam-packed full of people trying to do the same thing as you. The area is very small. It smells terrible. And the facilities there aren't exactly that great. But um, if you enjoy nasty-smelling mud on your body, um, I suggest you go there. It's pretty awesome. Um, either way, it was a great experience. But um, I probably would be okay not doing it again. How about you? Well, I think the, the added bonus, though, was the meal we had on the way back. They stopped at a yeah. nice restaurant with a beautiful view of the, the batons. And um, this local food they made, right? Yeah, they made us local food, and there was um, it was very good chicken and some fish and this awesome salad made out of green figs and tuna and mayonnaise, um, and it was great. And the view from up there was incredible. Um, you could see the pitons and the clouds rolling in over them, and it was it was quite it was really nice. Um, <laughs> So you might have read my blog before, um, My Normal Gay Life. You can check it out at MyNormalGayLife.com. There's going to be a link at the bottom and probably a link on the screen somewhere when I put it in. Um, so check it out. I write a lot about travel, travel tips, and sometimes I'm writing about very, very gay-oriented, but most of the time I'm writing about generally travel from my perspective, which is pretty awesome. Um, I also have an Instagram account. I'd love for you to follow me there. Um, Twitter, Facebook, I'm on all the social media things. Um, so. Follow me, like me, become a fan, do it all. Um, and this, this is my first vlog. I've decided to start a vlog to add a bit more um, of a personal touch to it all. Um, so you can get to know me, you can get to know my husband sometimes when he travels with me, or when we're reflecting on a past trip or whatever. I also want to present to you guys really great um, travel tips for places, advice for traveling, you know, basically everything that has to do with travel. So I'm going to be creating these vlogs every so often, posting them to YouTube and to Facebook, and, uh, and I hope that you guys enjoy them. Until next time, keep traveling, and remember, chase, chase the, the rainbow. rainbow.